what to do if you are feeling overwhelmed and it's a little hard right now to commit to your workouts. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how to be able to, number one, release that overwhelm to make sure that it has no hold upon your life. And number two, how to be able to take some small steps towards actually getting those workouts in and showing up for your health, okay? So number one is whenever we experience overwhelm, we have to acknowledge the fact that this is a spiritual battle that we're experiencing right now. And the spirit of overwhelm is one of the uh, officers in the enemy's army, right? And the spirit of fear is one of the big generals and cronies uh, that we get to kick his butt every single day in the name of Jesus. Come on. And some of his lower level officers or crooks and cronies, as I like to call them, are different officers like the officer of fear, the officer or the officer of overwhelm, anxiety, distraction, overstimulation, the sensation of feeling behind. All of these are just simply little crooks underneath the general fears um, militia, you could call it, or his men. So we have to first see that this overwhelm coming about is not a part of our authority here in kingdom in the sense of it's not written in our birthright that we are meant to walk with the spirit of fear. Our father tells us that he did not give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a spirit of courage and confidence, right? So with that being said, we can start to see, well, okay, my promise in scripture is that I get to walk in peace and courage, well, this overwhelm is distracting me from that birthright that I have. So we acknowledge where this spiritual attack is happening. And I recommend with this that you go through and you do release work journaling, which I've got a full video tutorial on that, that I will um, you know, provide in the description of this video or wherever this video is, is being used at. Um, if I'm sending it to you, I'll just send it along with this, but acknowledging that spiritual attack and then releasing that spirit of overwhelm from your life is going to be so important because if you just simply go into your workouts and no pain, no gain your way through this, that spirit of overwhelm is just going to come back tomorrow or the next day or the next week because we haven't actually dealt with the spiritual stronghold that he's trying to keep within our lives, okay? So, so important that we release him in the name of Jesus Christ and get him out of our lives. Because if we find that it's coming up in our relationship with workouts, it's also going to, he's gonna manifest himself in other areas such as feeling overwhelmed about finances, feeling overwhelmed about how to lead our family as husbands and fathers, feeling overwhelmed for how we can show up for our spouses in love, right? Feeling overwhelmed on how we can deal with certain situations with our children or our family or friendships within our business, right? Whatever it might be, he's showing up in other places. It's just happening to catch your attention in your workouts right now because you've made a commitment to your health by being in this program so now you're seeing incongruence with one of your yeses because you said that you were going to uh, commit to movement every day and following this routine, but now it's getting difficult to do that, right? So it may be manifesting itself in other areas, but, or actually it is manifesting itself in other areas. It's just workouts happens to be the one that's, um, that God is using right now to give you the authority to see with clean spiritual eyes what this spirit is doing in your life, okay? So now that we have acknowledged this spirit, you go and you do release work journaling and you just release him out of your life. And now we start to look at, okay, we're feeling a, a feeling of peace after we've done the release work. 
which I'm not going to cover in depth in this video. It's in the other one. Then we look at, okay, well, if right now I'm feeling a little crunched on time and that's the big issue for me, I'm going to go ahead and start with just simply doing one part of the workout. Even if that is just, I'm going to do one set of push-ups, one set of squats, one set of crunches, whatever it might be, just doing one set, or I'm just going to do one block around the house um, or around the block and let that be it. Because now that we've gotten rid of overwhelm, we realize that our health and our fitness is not just one major decision every day to work out. It's a constant decision to put one foot in front of the other, to push up, then the next decision is to go down, and then the next decision is to push up again. This constant flywheel of decisions that we have to make to take care of our health, when we get overwhelmed, coming to attack us, he tells us that it's all or nothing. But our father tells us, I'm gonna provide for you. And even if you just have the faith of a mustard seed, meaning even if you have faith, and even if your action is as small as a mustard seed, but it's there, it's gonna grow and it can move mountains. So what's important here is even if you only do one set of something or one rep of something, that small action, we're now planting and it's gonna grow. And for most of you watching this right now, you're actually gonna be able to get a whole workout in if you just do that. Because you'll find, well, this was easy, so now I can do that. And it gets the decision-making engine in your body back into gear. Because what the spirit of overwhelm does is he causes decision fatigue in your life. He makes it feel like everything is so difficult and it's going to be impossible for you to make this decision while still balancing everything else in your life or do this action. So we get rid of him, that decision engine starts to move again. We're able to go, go, go in the right direction. Okay. And then finally, remind yourself, you're taking action now, you've released the emotions that you showing up for your health, your body, your temple for the Holy Spirit is one of the most selfless things that you can do. Because what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to show up with your children with more presence and patience. Because you've physically gotten rid of overstimulation in your day from work. And now that you've played just like they play, right? Because the ones who are like a child inherit the kingdom. So when we're like a child, we move our body, we release our energy. So now we can be more present and focused for our children and have a great conversation with them. Your wife is going to love how present you are with her. Your wife's also going to love the muscle definition in your shoulders and in your arms and your chest. But what's really important here is that you realize through this entire process and walk away from this experience, as you conquered overwhelm, knowing that you doing the workouts is bigger than just weight loss. It's bigger than just looking better. It's you showing up for yourself so you can show up for the kingdom and your impact to a higher level. And what that does is it just simply allows you to realize, walk in, acknowledge your true authority here on earth as a representation of our Father's heart and authority here on earth. So remember, you've got this. I've got you. Now let's get to it.